Hi everyone, Kirk Nelson here with Touch Plus. This is a Wacom Digital Tablet. In this course, Mastering the Wacom Tablet in Photoshop, we'll talk about why this is such a valuable piece of equipment if you're serious about drawing or painting in Photoshop. More than any other piece of gear, this will enhance your abilities for your digital artwork. What makes a tablet so valuable? Well, first of all, it's a more comfortable way to draw. You actually have a stylus that feels like it's a pencil and it fits in your hand and it reacts the same way an actual real life pencil would. Also, the pressure sensitivity is unparalleled with other digital drawing implements. Consider the mouse. You have two levels of pressure sensitivity. The button is down or it's not. That's it. With the Wacom tablet and its pressure sensitivity, it can detect over 2,000 levels of pressure. This means that your drawing strokes feel and look much more natural on the screen. This course has four main chapters to it. Chapter one is hardware. I'll walk you through setting up your tablet and how to get it to work. Chapter two is the basic use. I'll talk about how to navigate your system using the tablet as a pointer and a regular input device. There's a lot you can do with it, but it's not necessarily the most intuitive piece of equipment. Chapter three, we talk about using the tablet in Photoshop and exactly how you have to set things up so that Photoshop recognizes the pressure sensitivity of it. I'll walk you through creating your own custom brushes and creating your own custom express keys and other functions within the application. Chapter four is where we take all this knowledge and we put it to use with an actual project. We'll start with a photograph of a hand holding a stylus. And I'll walk you through all the steps necessary to turn this into an actual digital drawing. Now I am assuming that you're familiar with how Photoshop works and you've actually already got a tablet. Now keep in mind that just because you own a digital tablet does not automatically turn you into an amazing digital artist. It's only a tool. Now it's a fantastic tool and it's great for helping you express your own artistic abilities in a digital medium. My job in this course is to give you the skills to do just that. I want you to be able to enhance your own artistic expression in a digital medium. My goal with this course, as with all my courses, is to help inspire you to learn and grow as a digital artist. If you finish this course and you've picked up some techniques you didn't have before, you've gained a skill that's new to you, consider it a success, because I know I do. And with that, let's load lesson 2.1 and we'll talk about setting up your tablet. 